Welcome to my channel, Gender Swap Zone. A hostile mistake and I become a girl. Sam had always been a drifter, someone content to let life guide him, rather than aggressively chasing after it. After high school, he found himself at a crossroads. While his friends rushed off to universities, internships, and full-time jobs, Sam had a different plan. A gap year to backpack through Europe. No strict itinerary, no obligations, just freedom. It felt right for a quiet observer like him to step out into the world and watch it from a new perspective. Europe, with its vast array of cultures, seemed like the perfect place for self-discovery. Little did Sam know that this trip would reveal more about himself than he had ever expected. By the time he returned home, he wouldn't be the same person who left. His reflection in the mirror would tell a different story altogether. It all began in Barcelona on a warm golden evening. Sam, tired from hours of walking with his backpack, checked into a small hostel. With his shoulder-length hair tied loosely behind his neck and his slim, almost delicate frame, he didn't look like the typical male backpacker. The woman behind the counter glanced at him briefly, her eyes flicking between the reservation book and his face. Without much thought, she smiled and said, Welcome, miss, as she handed him the key to his room. Sam froze. He was about to correct her to explain the mistake, but something stopped him. The woman had already moved on to the next guest, and there was no urgency in correcting the misunderstanding. With a shrug, he pocketed the key and made his way upstairs. A quiet thrill ran through him, unexpected yet undeniable. When Sam entered the room, he quickly realized he had been placed in an all-female dorm. Three girls, tourists like him, were lounging on their bunks, chatting about their plans for the evening. They greeted him casually, unaware of the mix-up. Sam could have spoken up, could have clarified things, but instead, he introduced himself as Samantha. The name hung in the air, foreign and exciting. He hadn't meant to say it, but now that it was out, it felt oddly right. The girls accepted him without question, complimenting his hair and inviting him to join them for dinner. That night, Samantha was swept up into Barcelona's vibrant nightlife, tapas bars, street music, and dancing until dawn. At first, it was just a game, a playful escape from reality. Each morning, Sam would slip into androgynous clothes, loosen his hair, and move through the day as Samantha. He found himself experimenting with new gestures and mannerisms, subtly altering the way he walked and spoke. Strangers and fellow travelers didn't question it, treating Samantha as a carefree girl on her European adventure. Days turned into weeks, and the lines between Sam and Samantha began to blur. What started as a harmless experiment soon became more than that. Sam found comfort in the new persona, embracing a softer, more fluid version of himself. The confidence and freedom Samantha exuded were intoxicating, making Sam question who he really was or who he wanted to be. It wasn't long before the physical changes started. One morning, after weeks of living as Samantha, Sam woke up to find his chest slightly sore, his nipples sensitive beneath his shirt. At first, he dismissed it as fatigue or the result of his long days walking through the city. But when the soreness persisted and his chest began to swell ever so slightly, Sam knew something was different. He stared at himself in the mirror, shirtless, noticing a soft roundness forming beneath his skin. His waist, too, seemed to have taken on a more feminine curve, while his hips felt a little wider, more pronounced. It was subtle but undeniable. Panicked, Sam wondered if this was just in his head, if maybe the role he had been playing had somehow caused him to see what wasn't there. But as the days passed, the changes continued. His hair grew longer, silkier. His face softened, his jawline becoming less angular, his lips fuller. And his voice, his once deep, ravelly voice, began to rise in pitch, becoming smoother, lighter. A visit to a doctor in Barcelona confirmed his fears. The doctor, a middle-aged woman with kind eyes, examined him carefully, running a series of tests. When the results came back, her expression shifted to one of confusion. You're experiencing what seems to be a hormonal imbalance, she said gently. But it's very unusual for someone your age with no prior medical history of this sort. Sam asked if there was a way to stop it, but part of him wasn't sure if he wanted to. The changes, while terrifying, also felt strangely liberating. The doctor prescribed hormone blockers, explaining that they might reverse or halt the process. But Sam never filled the prescription. He told himself he'd do it later, but deep down, he knew that wasn't the truth. He returned to the hostel, staring at himself in the mirror once more. The face that looked back at him was undeniably feminine, more so than it had ever been before. 
Samantha wasn't just a role anymore, she was becoming real. As the weeks turned into months, Samantha fully emerged. Sam's body continued to change. His chest blossomed into full breasts, his waist narrowed, and his hips flared. His skin became softer, his features delicate. Soon there was little left of the boy who had arrived in Barcelona months before. His periods of doubt were drowned out by the acceleration of living as Samantha. Luca, the Italian artist Samantha, met during one of her evening walks through the city's Gothic quarter, became a pivotal figure in her journey. The two quickly became inseparable, spending their days exploring hidden corners of the city and their nights lost in conversation or wandering the moonlit streets. Luca adored Samantha's carefree spirit, her unique blend of vulnerability and strength. But with Luca came a new layer of complexity. Samantha found herself falling for him deeply, but the weight of her secret grew heavier with every passing day. How would she tell Luca the truth about who she had been, about the body she had once inhabited? And more pressing, did she even want to go back to being Sam? One evening, as they sat by the beach, with the sound of waves crashing softly in the background, Samantha finally mustered the courage to tell Luca everything. Her heart pounded in her chest as she explained the mix-up at the hostel, the transformation she had undergone, and the internal conflict she had battled since. Luca listened quietly, his face unreadable. Samantha braced herself for rejection, but instead, Luca reached out and gently took her hand. Samantha or Sam, it doesn't matter, Luca said softly. I care about who you are, not what you were. And who you are now is someone I love. Tears welled up in Samantha's eyes as a wave of relief washed over her. She had feared losing Luca, feared that her journey of self-discovery would isolate her from the people she loved. But instead, she realized that the people who truly cared for her would accept her, no matter what form she took. As her time in Barcelona came to an end, Samantha packed her things with a sense of bittersweet finality. She had arrived as Sam, a quiet, curious boy from a small town, but she was leaving as someone entirely new. Samantha, a confident, free-spirited woman who had discovered parts of herself she never knew existed. With a final goodbye to Luca and a promise to return, Samantha boarded the train to her next destination. She wasn't sure what the future held, but for the first time in her life, she wasn't afraid. She had learned that identity wasn't something rigid or fixed. It was fluid ever-changing, and she had the power to define it on her own terms. Europe had been more than just an adventure. It had been the catalyst for her transformation, both inside and out. As the train sped away from Barcelona, Samantha smiled, her heart full of hope and excitement for the next chapter of her journey. No matter where she went or who she became next, one thing was certain, she was finally free to be herself.